welcome to my channel XAV. Today we are going to learn about NagOS. NagOS is continuous monitoring tool which is used for application monitoring, network monitoring, server monitoring and so on. NagOS is also known for being the best monitoring software in the market. It is open source software. It makes monitoring easy because of the flexibility to monitor your server with both agent based and agent less monitoring. NagOS is a client server architecture usually on a network. A NagOS server is running on a host and plugin are running on all the remote host which should be monitored. So this is our EC2 dashboard where I have already created this uh, NagOS server EC2 machine which is having Linux based operating system. I am just directly taking this IP address and I am logging it into this machine using Mobaxtrum. EC2 user. Monitoring key as my private key and I will name this server as NagOS server. Okay. So this is my NagOS server in which we have logged in. We will configure all the related steps which is mentioned in my this documentation. These are the steps which we are going to follow to configure NagOS server. You can find all these steps into my blog page. I will give this link into the description block. You can refer it from there. Okay. So uh, let's follow the steps one by one. First step say we need to install some prerequisites. So for that we need to be a sudo user. So I will just directly do sudo su to become a root user. And then I need to install some prerequisites uh, that is httpd and php. Second is compilers gcc, gli, bc glibc common next is gd gd devil okay so we have completed our first step that is installation of prerequisite softwares now next step is we need to create one user nagios user so just go and add user, user is created. Now we need to set the password for it, password or P, pass wd is the command for uh, giving password for the user. Now we need to set the password, just make sure remember the password or write it down somewhere, enter. So password is set for this user. Now next step is create a group. So let's add a group NagOS CMD and add some users into that NagOS and Apache user also. Okay. Now next step is we need to download NagOS core plugin. So for that we create one directory into our home directory or you can create as per your path this directory into root that name of the directory is downloads just change the directory which we have just created and now download using wget so nagios setup is been downloaded let's download nagios plugin also So as you can see in the current folder we have downloaded two setups. Now first we need to compile and install our NagOS uh, setup which we have just downloaded. So for that we need to do tar zxvf and the setup name that is NagOS 4.4.6 version. You can download latest version also. Here I need to change it with the 4.4.6 or I can directly type 
the command zxvf and type n and tap so it will automatically take see the package is untarred we need to change the directly so cd negus enter and we need to list so you can see whatever configuration files which required to set up a nagios server are present into this folder first we need to configure then we need to compile the setup then we can install all the binaries to access the nagios server so with this command we will configure the nagios server with the group name which we have created So here our Nagio is con uh, configured and you can see here also it is saying type the command as make all to compile the program and the same is also mentioned here. So I will just copy and type it. Okay now our setup is compiling. Okay you can see compilation is done. Now we need to install the setup. So for installation or we can say install we need to install the binary files so for installation we need to run these four commands so we will run one by one make install which will install all the uh, files and you can see it is also saying that you need to run these three command so you can take it from here also make install in it then make install command mode okay you can see external command directory is configured make install config enter see config file is also installed now next step is we need to make uh, this setup with uh, web interface also where we will see the dashboard of nagios server where we can see all the setups and all the monitoring data so for that we need to run this command See, Nagios Apache configure file is also installed. So now next step is create account for login. Every time when we install Nagios, we need to configure admin account also. Right now we have just only installed the required setup into our system. But for accessing it as an admin user or admin uh, administrator access, for that we need to install or we need to configure admin ID password or admin user. For that we will use this command. We just directly type it here and enter. So it will ask for Nagios admin user password. Just set the password. Just remember one thing, let me clear once again, the user which we are creating here is a different user that is for our installation part and everything. And the second user, Nagios admin, which we are creating right now is for accessing Nagios monitoring tool. Okay, now till now, till 8th step, whatever we have done is we uh, configured, compiled, installed our Nagios server, then we created Nagios admin user. Now we start HTTPD, that is Apache server, where we will see the web interface of Nagios uh, tool. Now next step is we need to install the plugin of Nagios. So we already downloaded our uh, plugin into root slash downloaded path downloads path so enter ls you can see one second plugin is uh, ref, uh, is present here so we need to untar it okay now change the directory okay same steps which we followed earlier first configure it compile it and install it here configuration is going on configuration is done with make command or we will compile the setup now we will install it installation is also done now just start the nagios setup 
service is started this with this command we can verify our existing configure file with the binary file so just verify it whether if there is any error it will throw an error you can see 0 0 is reflecting so there is no error we are good to go just for the safer side restart once again both negative service and http d restart Now for accessing the NagUS dashboard, we just need to take the server IP address and slash NagUS. So I will go to our EC2 dashboard and we can copy this public IP address and uh, okay. So just type the IP address and slash NagUS and enter. See it is asking for username and password just uh, type NagUS admin and password whatever password you have set so we are able to log in into NagUS server NagUS monitoring tool or NagUS core where we will up monitor our all the client machines as you can see this is NagUS dashboard where daemon is running with this process id and you can see host details also under host detail you can go and check what is the status of our host machine services also you can see right now it is still processing soon it will become a successful or warning or anything so this is about our nagus core server setup in the next video, we will see how we can monitor our client machines uh, use, using this uh, NagUS server. And in the next video, also, also we will see the alert configuration. That's it about NagUS. We will see you into the next video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel.